2320 Computing 2 and this is the third uh, video tutorial uh, in the set on functions. So as with the other tutorials, if you're registered on the module at the University of Leeds, then you'll be able to download a, both a PDF and also a Jupyter Notebook version of the tutorial from the Minerva module site. So this unit is going to mainly be focusing on um, functions with arbitrary numbers of parameters and arguments. So in the first two units, we uh, talked about how, how you define and call a function. We uh, talked about passing data into uh, functions via parameters um, and you also using uh, return to go and pass values back from functions. And then in the second unit, we also talked about um, keyword and positional parameters and arguments and how to assign values to them. So we're going to start this video with a um, little function which we're going to write which is going to be used to go and count the number of vowels that appear in a word. And this function is designed to go and return a dictionary uh, where the keys in the dictionary are the individual vowels and the values are the number of times the corresponding vowel appears in the word. So if you're not familiar with dictionaries then you should look at unit 3 of the syntax uh, series of video tutorials. So here's our function. Um, so it's called vowel count. It takes a single parameter word. And the way it works is it has a list of vowels and it has an empty dictionary. And it loops through the list of vowels and it adds a key into the dictionary um, where the key is the vowel and the value is uses the count method of a string to count the number of times that a vowel appears in the string that's, that's the word. And then after that it returns the dictionary back. And so you can see here we go and call it with the word flocky knocky nihilification, which is the second longest word in the English language and also has a ridiculous number of i's in it. Um, and then you can see the count of vowels in, in the word. Okay, so that's, that's all fine. But now suppose that what we want to go and do is to change our function so that it can handle not just the case where you, the user has one word, but they might have many words that they want to go and count the vowels over. So one obvious way of dealing with this would simply go and change the, um, the way the function is written. So instead of taking a word, it takes a list of words and then have it work through that list and counting the vowels. And that's fine, that would work. Um, but of course, if you've only got one single word, then it's a bit of a pain to have to turn it into a list first before you can pass it to this function. And it'd be much nicer if you could pass it a bare single word or pass it two or three words as separate arguments um, and it would um, deal flexibly with that. So Python has a way of doing this. Um, we can define a function that will go and take an arbitrary number of arguments when it's called. Um, and then within that function, we can work out how to deal with that. So this is done by creating a parameter whose name is prefixed with a star, an asterisk. So in other words, you, you call it as asterisk some name. So often this parameter is called uh, args or var args, but the name's not really important. The important thing is that it starts with the asterisk character. So here is how such a function would look. Um, so it's basically the same function as we had. It's got a few changes. So on the def line at the top, we've changed from having a single argument word to star args. And so the star is telling us that this is going to be a variable number of arguments. We've got the same list of vowels. We've got the same empty dictionary being created. We then are just going to print out um, what type this args is and also what value it has, just so we can see what's going on. Um, and then the next line down, we're doing a little trick where we're going to um, take all of the individual words that are held in the args variable and join them up together. So we end up with just one long single word, which is the concatenation of all of the individual words we pass to the function. So that's what that quotes quotes dot join brackets args is doing. So join is a method that works on a string and that takes a, uh, a either a list or a tuple or something you can iterate over and sticks all the um, arguments of the, the list or tuple together, um, gluing them together with the string that you've specified for the join, uh, which in this case is an empty string. And then the rest of the code is exactly the same as we just had. So now you can see when we run this, if we do it with um, just a single word, then it will um, 
uh, work just as before and it prints out the same answer. Um, the only difference is, is that it also prints this extra line where it tells us that um, args is a tuple and that is a value which is a single element of the word flocky knocky nail amplification. But then we can go ahead and we can just also call this function with um, an arbitrary number of different um, arguments. So in this case I'm using the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and sending every word of that sentence to the function as a separate argument. And then you can see when it prints out it still says it's a tuple but it now is a tuple with lots of elements in it, one element for each word, and then it goes and calculates the number of vowels in that, in that sentence. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many arguments you give to the function, the um, parameter args is always going to be a tuple whose elements are the individual arguments made up. So if you pass it 100 arguments, then that args will end up being 100 elements long. The effect of the star basically is to suck up all the positional arguments um, that are left up and assign them as a tuple to that parameter. So that means you have to put the star after any of the regular positional parameters, so just where you've got one variable which is going to take one value in the def line, and before you have any keyword parameters. So um, we can then go on and extend this by, for example, um, adding a keyword parameter that would let us choose uh, what letters we wanted to count as vowels for the purposes of counting them. So here's how this would be done. Um, so we've got a similar function again, we've got the star args, we've now got this keyword argument vowels and I've given it a default value of the regular vowels. So therefore we don't have the line in the function, in the body of the function that defines what vowels is because that's being set by the keyword parameter, but the rest of that function is the same. And so you can see again um, it works the same way, if I don't pass a, uh, an argument for the vowels in then um, it does what it did before, but I can now override it with a vowels equals, in this case, LCP, and it returns me a dictionary telling me how many times the letters L, C, and P appear in Flocky Dock in the So that's how you combine a keyword argument.